Good morning, children. So today we have an art class, and this is what we are going to draw today. So who is excited? Okay. So get your crayons ready quickly. We need yellow. We need orange. We need red, sky blue, dark blue, brown, and black. So you have to have all these crayons ready. And now let's get started. So let's get started. So what we are going to do is, I have taken this sheet which is a little similar to A3 sheet. And we are going to start from here as you have already seen. So we are going to start from, start from here. Okay. You go like this. Okay. A little bit like this, maybe a little bigger. And now, remember to use a very, very, very light hand. Okay? Just in case if you make any mistake, you can erase it. And there will be no mark on your paper. You know what happens? Otherwise, when you use uh, uh, your pencil with a heavy hand, when you push, put pressure it harder, so what happens is, erase to kar doge, the gray thing, gray lead of your pencil will erase, but aapke page pe ek mark reh jata hai. Okay? And later on when you color it, it shows very clearly. Thik hai? Toh wo mistake pe dikhai deti hai. Toh aapko pencil bohut light use karni hai. Itni light kya sirf aapko dikhe. Okay? So, this is here. Mene draw ki aapko dikh raha hoga. Okay, I'm going to raise this. I have made it bigger. Then I'm going to draw the petals. Now, when you draw the petals, again remember, they have to be big. They don't have the one of one doesn't have to be the thinner than the other or bigger than the other. Okay, Aapko lag bhag, lag bhag, approximately they have to be in of equal length in height and wideness. Okay, so I've drawn this. So you saw that this part was yellow, these were blue, and it was brown. So now let's this is it that you have to. This is the only part where you have to use your pencil. And after this, we have to start right away with our crayons. Okay, crayons would be better. So here are my crayons. Okay, I'm going to start using the light blue part. Okay, now another thing, very important thing is, First, I'm going to quickly outline my petals. Okay, done that. Now, this part, let me just outline it. Yeah. Okay. And as you saw in the painting, this is all going to be yellow. So here it is. So now, you need to keep one thing in mind that when you color, okay, I have colored in this way. In standing lines, you can say. Okay? So, if you have started to color this way, do not go this way. Okay? And if you are doing it this way since the starting, do not go this way. So, you have to choose one way and you have to go only on that way. Only on that way. Like this. 
okay goes like this i have done the same now you would have noticed that this part was not just yellow it had a little uh, orangish tint in it so of course in orange and yellow in yellow yellow is the lighter color so i did the yellow part first now i'm going to do some orange on top of it because my orange ke upar yellow karti it wouldn't have been much visible to you now lighter ke upar darker karenge so that darker color will also show okay now you don't have to fill up your whole sheet with the orange like you have done with the yellow just some lines of orange would do All right. Now here, this is done. See, so you would have noticed that I did not go like this anywhere. There you go. Okay, there it is. And now we'll start coloring the blue part. So again, I'm going to start with the lighter color, which is our sky blue. Okay. Now, when I color it with sky blue, I'm not going like this. I'm going to go like this. And here it is, all done. Okay. So now, I will use the darker blue shade, which is this one, and just going to. not go all over the petal but draw some lines here okay i'm just going to draw some lines here so that it looks like uh the uh, the petals of a flower are not just straight away coming out straight like this right so if we draw there that means they're curved from the end so i'm going to make them look a little curved and draw some lines here like this darker from here and lighter from the end darker from here and lighter from in the end you don't have to be of equal length okay just go like this just a little bit on the tip just a little bit just let your hand go like this that's it okay so we're going to do the same in all the four petals so now you can easily see the difference that when it was just simple plain sky blue and now at add, by adding some dark blue to it it looks better right better okay now starting with the center part now i'm going to go like this to color it okay with brown here it is okay now i'm taking some red some red i'm going here just because red would not look like red on top of brown but it will definitely give it a different shade See. 
okay now using the same brown color but now i have to make sure that i'm going to make it darker here okay i'm going to fill this up this part and make it darker darker than this one as you can see okay go as dark as you can now the black color So here it is, and I'm going to take yellow now. Now I know that yellow is a lighter color than brown. So, but we wanted it on top of the brown. So we'll do it later. We'll do it at the end. Okay. It had to be everything over the brown color. once on all of it like this and here you go and your flower is done now now because class one is learning about mini bees so I'm going to add a little mini bees right here and that would be our ladybird okay so what do we need for that? Now we have to be very careful because we've already colored it and it might not show very much, but still we're going to try. Let me just unwrap this crayon. Okay. So let's be very, very careful. There. But to make legs, because legs will be thinner, I'm going to try to use the crayon very slowly. This is my crayon. Scan the ladybug's eye. Because the cray uh, this is my sketch pen. Sketch pens don't work over a crayon. So, but if you can still move your hand slowly, it will. Okay? Just make going to make a part here. Spots. Okay. Smiling a little bit. One, two, four, five, six. So there goes our lady bird. And your drawing is done. Ta-da! So, see, very simple, very nice. If you like, you can frame it later on. It's very simple, but looks beautiful in the end. So, half of the flower is what we are drawing today. Okay, have fun.